Now, you probably think this is a clickbait video because how could you 10 times your damage? That doesn't seem possible, but I'm about to do it in this video. I'm going to show you step by step how I did it. It's approximately 10 times the amount of damage that I had, and depending where you are in the game, you're going to have varying results. But I want to show you step by step how to upgrade artifacts, how to upgrade your weapons, how to upgrade your attacks, and literally skyrocket your damage so you can smash through these enemies. Hope you're excited, because I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. I want to show you how to do like 10 times the amount of damage that you're doing before. In some cases, it might actually be more than that. I know that might sound like BS, but it's true. So I've got a bit of a treat for you because I have a bunch of artifacts here. They're all at zero rank. So I'm going to show you the damage numbers now, and then I'm going to show you after upgrading. Now, I know you might be scared to upgrade some of your items because you know you're going to replace them, but to get enough artifacts to replace a lot of these, it's going to take a lot of farming. Also, if you get something like this that has attack damage and attack damage built in here, this is a great item that, yes, it will get replaced with a purple item down the road, absolutely, but to get the right rolls to replace it is going to take a while. And if you do replace it, 90%, about 85 to 90% of the experience that you infuse into this, if you infuse it into a new one that you replace it with, it will get all that experience. So... Uh, even though you're using a bunch of materials to level this up and make it much stronger, that's okay. You're still going to be getting a lot of value from that later on. It's not like you're just blowing resources. You better get strong now so you can push the harder content, right? So we're going to go up to these enemies and we're going to do just a couple of auto attacks and then run away. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing. 150, 160, we got a 210 there, but somewhere around 150 damage, 160 damage for an auto attack. Now, what happens when we upgrade all of our artifacts and maybe even change up a weapon? So we're going to start with some artifacts that have really good rolls. This one is fantastic. It's got attack percentage boost, crit rate, crit damage. This thing is pretty well god roll, so I'm going to enhance the hell out of this thing. Now, I can skip ahead, but what we're going to do is essentially use the low tier ones uh, and just kind of power through these, and you're going to see how rapidly that this grows up in, in damage. Ooh, look at this. At level 8, I got some additional HP. That's a nice little stat, and we continue to raise that attack level. All right, so this is a blue piece of gear. This is as high as it can go. Level 12. It is now 23% attack. We've got some extra uh, crit damage, crit rate, defense, and HP. This thing is huge for our damage, and it's just one artifact. So let's take a peek. After just upgrading one, how much damage are we doing now? So we're going to run up, do some auto attacks again. So we're doing 190 now on some of these hits, right? That's fantastic. 180, 190 on a lot of these attacks. But it's about to scale like crazy once we start adding in a few more. So one of your main artifacts you should be upgrading is your feather. This is probably the one you should be doing first because it has base flat attack. And that's what's going to be scaling with all the percentages. The higher your base, the better off you're going to be. All right, so I kind of ran out of money on this one, but I now have 209 attack up from like 42. We've got the additional attack. We've got some elemental mastery. Now let's take a peek at what happens when we use this bad boy. All right. So check this out. Now, instead of doing like 190, we're doing like 230, right? We're getting some extra damage numbers from my other thing, but we're doing 200 damage, almost 300 damage on most of these hits. We've doubled our damage already, and that's just two artifacts. And my one artifact isn't even fully upgraded yet because I ran out of money. So let's get some more. Wow, <laughs> I just got super lucky on that. At level four, we got 4.7% more crit damage. That's a great little roll. Uh, very happy with that one. In your flower slot, they always give HP. So you can really just choose the one that has the best stats here. This one has attack, attack percentage, uh, and elemental mastery. So I'm just going to use this one, and we're going to max this one out because it's going to be a great little item for us. All right, so we got a ton of HP. We got some more attack damage. We got some elemental and defense. We have now essentially maxed out our official, and she's got some great little stats. Our attack damage is much higher than when we started. Our HP is great. We aren't the tankiest, but we are going to be a main DPS dealer. And remember, even if you don't like this character or you want to swap, you can always change these artifacts out to other characters. All right, so now we're doing like three and 400 damage on a lot of these attacks, right? If we are using our abilities, those are going to hit like a truck. Like we're looking at like thousands of damage on, uh, on these hits. But, you know, this is insanity. 
and we're not done yet. So your weapon is gonna play a huge role in this as well. Right now I'm using the string list that gives you increased skill and elemental burst, which is awesome. But we've scaled this character with attack damage and a lot of her talents, you know, they get bonuses based on your attack damage. So I have an alternative. I leveled up this one up to level 50 as well. You can see uh, it has a little bit less base attack damage, but it's giving a physical damage bonus of 44.7%, which is nuts. So now let's see what happens when we swap to this weapon. So we're doing like 400, 480, right? 500. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much one hitting these enemies. It's, it's actually insanity. Uh, this is, this is nuts. All right. So now we're going to take it another step further. You can upgrade your different talents in the game. You can see here, you can use these materials, but if we were to upgrade our normal attacks, we would get another like four or 5% bonus damage per auto attack. So this is gonna then scale up and give you uh, additional damage. And so between the artifacts, choosing a great weapon that's gonna scale to what we're working on, the attack damage, and by upgrading our skills, you're not just gonna double your damage, you're gonna triple it, quadruple it, and even 10 times it, depending on how you've itemized your character so far. I already had a couple good weapons, and so you know you might not see as drastic of a change, but if you haven't done any of this stuff, make sure you do it ASAP. I'm going to confirm that right now. We're going to upgrade it and we're going to become a deadly, deadly beast. You can see all of these attacks, aim shots, the fully charged shots, plunge damage, everything is going up. Another thing to remember is attack speed is extremely valuable. If you can attack faster, that's more DPS. And in any game ever made that has this stat, it is very valuable. Now, there's not a lot of ways to get additional attack speed in the game. So if you can find a weapon like this compound bow that's giving attack speed, you're gonna have literally one of the biggest boosts in the game for DPS. You can stack all the attack you want, you can stack crit, you can do all these different things, but this speed is invaluable. It is so powerful that um, I would recommend you look for weapons like this. If you can get additional crit damage or there's different proccing effects, there's some amazing five-star weapons. But this is definitely something to look out for if you're looking to optimize your auto attacks and other DPS. All right, so I've now taken Fischl. As far as I can progress, I now have my talents for my auto attack maxed out as far as I can. Uh, I've got my weapon maxed out as far as I currently can. I, I actually can't rank it up again. And I can't ascend her any farther. So let's take a peek with the weapon, with the artifact, with all the damage that I've built onto this and see what happens with my auto attacks. We got some enemies right here. Hi buddy, do you have any idea what's about to happen to you? <laughs> a shield? What? We got four, 500, a thousand damage. It's, it's insanity. I, I, I've just absolutely skyrocketed uh, in damage. If I use my charged attacks, we're looking at 1600 damage. It's insanity. Like this character has now blown up in value. But guess what? I can now take those artifacts and do it with any other character in the game. 130, 130. So we're about that 130 damage mark, right? Can get some crits, but 130, 80 damage, somewhere in there. Now let's sprint away. Let's come back in a moment after we swap out our items. All right, so we got a level 40 sword, but now the better artifacts. Did you see that? 200 damage now. Okay, on most of those hits, there's some a little bit higher, but we got, you know, 70 more damage per hit. That's a huge increase. But watch this, I'm gonna go farm. I'm gonna level up the sword again so we can just see the scaling and how uh, insane this gets. All right, there. I've leveled it up to level 50. I can't get it to 60. I just don't have enough materials. It would take me too far. Uh, but, you know, this process, because of the attack percentage, the higher you can get this base, the more it's going to explode. But let's go take a peek at the damage now. All right, these are level 47s. Not sure it matters. Uh, but look at that. We're doing, like, 200 on most of these hits. So, I mean, we're already getting uh, double. Double the damage here. And the weapon isn't even, you know, scaled all the way up. It's just so potent, putting these artifacts and leveling up one character, and they're gonna carry you. Uh, they're gonna carry your team. You can use everyone else for all the different abilities, but one main damage dealer with a max out weapon, all your resources in that weapon, you're gonna be laughing. 
So at the start of the video, I was doing like 100 and some, 130 damage. Now with Fischl just auto attacking away, we're getting into the 800, 1000 realm on many of these hits. We have literally 10 times her damage on those crits. And I think that that's pretty damn incredible. I think that's pretty impressive. And my god, have I been slamming through enemies. So I'm glad that I did this. I am now going to be taking on the Spiral Abyss and all these other things. But if I can do it, and I have, honestly, not the best stuff. Like, like really not the best stuff. If you look at my, um, my character's artifacts, most of them are blues. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, just absolutely crushing everything. This is this is pretty much perfect uh, for for this situation. Because Fischl is electric. But, I mean, if we bunch everyone up, it's just going to get even nuttier. Like, it's going to get insane right now. Uh, if Fischl uses her ultimate ability or burst ability, you're going to see I can just kind of nuke the enemies as I fly through them. Tons of damage. Tons of damage. And, uh, you know, before... Before, I, I, I was doing... Literally like a fifth of this. So, you gotta do this. You gotta do this. It'll make you push through much harder content. You'll be able to take on some of the bosses. Highly recommend doing it uh, as soon as you can. Uh, just find like a couple good artifacts and you can get started. Choose one character. I recommend choosing someone who's probably like a five star. If you've got like Diluc, uh, if you've got Venti, max them out. I chose, um, I chose Fischl because she's really solid, but there's probably better choices out there overall because there's five star characters. But as a four-star character, she's she's like S tier, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. Now, another thing to remember is not everyone scales off of attack damage. I'm going to give you a great example of this on two of my healers. This is Barbara, and she scales off of max HP. So if you stack elemental damage or you stack just attack damage, she's actually not going to be as good at healing. She's also going to be much squishier. So what you want to do is you want to stack health. This makes her, uh, you know, elemental burst ability do more damage and, and heal more. And so if you're trying to use someone like Barbara, you want health and not attack damage. So save those attack artifacts for people that are actually going to be auto-attacking. You know, someone like a Razor, uh, Shang Yun, someone like Jai Ling, anyone who's doing a lot of auto-attacks and is going to get some scaling uh, off of their auto-attacks. Now, if you look at Chi Chi... She's a healer that does scale off attack. So if you wanted a really good healer that does a lot of damage, you could use Chi Chi, who's actually going to use that attack damage to her benefit. So those are just a couple of tips uh, for you if you're looking to really optimize your damage. Make sure you're leveling your skills. Make sure you're actually leveling your artifacts. Maximize your weapons as soon as you can. And I highly recommend you focus on one character. To max out Fischl in this video, I just spent like 600,000 Mora. Uh, it took a, a ton of, of different artifacts. Like, if we look at my list here, I just used like all of my whites, all of my greens trying to level up here. Now, you can also use food to boost your attack further. And if you're getting base attack, like from the Adeptus Temptation, that's just going to scale with the percentage physical bonus that you're getting, and it's going to get insane. Now, one thing I wanted to say is, if you stack Elemental Mastery and your abilities hit harder, that can be completely viable as well, and honestly, it's probably better on someone like Fischl. So I use her as an example. Uh, there's other characters who are going to scale much harder. Chong uh, Yun is probably going to scale harder with attack. Um, Razor's probably going to scale harder with attack. So there's definitely other characters that'll, that'll get more benefit out of this. So just because I use Fischl, you know, that's not the only character you can use. It works on everyone. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.